So today we're diving a bit into the world of natural remedies by exploring the incredible medical benefits of castor oil. And um, I came across this actually through a patient in my clinic that has reported amazing benefits of castor oil packs. I didn't really know what that was. Now, when I was younger, I was actually uh, riding motocross bikes, two-stroke bikes, and I knew from there that sometimes we put a little bit of castor oil together with a two-stroke mix in there to help the engine from seizing. So it's actually very protective of the engine, right? That's how I knew castor oil. But when you look back at the literature, this has been around for hundreds of years and used um, for many, many medicinal applications. So we're going to look at today, well, are these back in science or are these just anecdotes? And it's actually quite interesting and uh, might surprise you, actually. So um, the versatile oil, castor oil, has been used for centuries, actually, at this point, for its therapeutic properties. And um, we're going to uncover some of these scientific wonders today in this segment. Now, first things first, what is castor oil? So it's derived from the seeds of the castor plant, or Ricinus communis. And castor oil is a multi-purpose vegetable oil known for its very unique composition. It is extremely rich in ricinoleic acid, which is a fatty acid with anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. So let's start with skin properties here. Now, there are numerous studies that have shown that castor oil can be really a game changer for various skin conditions. And a study published in the International Journal of Dermatology found that applying castor oil to the skin helped improve hydration and reduce the severity of dermatitis. Now, that's quite profound because, you know, what for dermatitis, what we usually use are things like corticosteroids and other things and then very thick emollients after that. So castor oil has uh, inherent anti-inflammatory properties. So kind of similar to a steroid, I suppose. But also it is very good. It's a very thick oil when you see this stuff. It's really, really thick and uh, difficult to apply, actually. But it's excellent as a moisturizer because it locks in the moisture and, and the water in the skin and prevents it from evaporating. So it's really good at that. And castor oil has also been used to improve the appearance of wrinkles and decrease the thickness of scars. Now, I would always be cautious here because when you use a product cosmetically, when you use it on, on your skin, always start with a very small area. And of course, always talk to your doctor pharmacist <clears throat> as a aside also here. If you're currently pregnant, so pregnant women should not use castor oil, certainly not internally, because you can also drink this because it can cause uterine contractions. And that could be very dangerous if it's, of course, in the wrong part of the pregnancy. But um, again, it's been used for many, many years. And if you're not pregnant, if you're healthy and you don't have any other conditions, it's worthwhile trying this on your skin. But again, very careful. Also, keep in mind, if you do it on the skin of the face, sometimes people do get uh, blocked pores and breakouts and all that. So I would always use it in very small areas first before anything else. The next point of improvement that we see with castor oil is joint pain and inflammation. Now, um, a common concern for many people, especially as we get older or people that are very active athletes and so on. And research published in the Journal of Naturopathic Medicine highlights the anti-inflammatory effects that a castor oil pack can have. So these packs, when they are applied to the affected area, were found to significantly reduce pain and inflammation. And that is really interesting. So these castor oil packs, again, you take some uh, a cloth, you drain it, uh, in, you drench it with castor oil, and you locally apply it to the area. And that can, you know, over a certain period of time, really tr be tremendously helpful for pain and inflammation. But furthermore, castor oil packs can be used externally to help with internal things like, you know, irritable bowel disease, constipation and so on. And that's a very interesting fact for me. You know, again, <clears throat> I always, uh, as a primary care physician, I'm thinking of medications you in inject or that you take as a pill. Um, this is by applying it externally onto, you know, the skin in the area that's the, of concern. And it stimulates um, lymphatic drainage. It stimulates the immune system. It's really interesting. So these properties are pretty amazing. And you can get a lot of relief of gastrointestinal symptoms, apparently, through these um, castor oil packs. Now, I didn't find a lot of great research detailing that so much. And these are more, in my opinion, anecdotes. And I heard this again from a patient of mine. But when you look at you know, other YouTube videos, uh, people certainly report tremendous relief. And I think, again, if you don't have any uh, conditions where you shouldn't use castor oil, like if you're not currently pregnant, for example, I think it's worthwhile trying. I mean, it is very thick, I tell you. It's sticky and thick, so it, it does make a mess. But look, if you have uh, symptoms that can improve, I think that's totally worth it. Okay, the next benefit that's touted with castor oil is hair and scalp. Now, um, castor oil is renowned for its hair and scalp benefits, actually, because uh, there's a study in the Journal of Cosmetic Science that has found that castor oil improves hair shaft flexibility 
and reduces the occurrence of split ends. So that's something that's always a problem with longer hair, split ends and so on, but also the hair shaft flexibility. So the hair can become brittle. It can, you know, through uh, when you have longer hair and you, you, you pull your hair back, you can have breakage of hair and castor oil makes the hair more flexible again, gives it this flexibility and helps with split ends. But also it has antimicrobial properties that can benefit the scalp itself. So it's very, it's very healthy for the scalp. Again, always, always apply in small areas first and see how you respond to it. And there's always people that might have an allergic response to this, so always be cautious, right? Now, ricinoleic acid um, has also been shown to stimulate prostaglandin receptors, and that can lead to increased blood supply to hair follicles and promote hair growth. So there are reports of improved hair growth and actually reversal of hair loss using castor oil there. Um, I think that's pretty fascinating. I don't know the protocol here. You probably want to wash it out at some point because it is very thick and I'm concerned if you leave it on for too long there that you probably obstruct oxygenation of the skin a little bit there. But um, that is, I think, fascinating that these things have been reported. Again, didn't find a great study on the reversal of hair loss, but there are many reports that show this. Keep in mind also, when we look at studies, yes, there, there are some studies, and I'll link them at the end of the video. This is a uh, oil that's been around for many years. It's very reasonable. There's no patent on it, right? You will not have uh, someone spend millions of dollars uh, and do a very big, you know, double-blinded placebo-controlled studies, as we know this from a pharmaceutical or medication, right? Because the money is just not there to do it because no one then can claim, hey, this was my study, here's my patent, let me make some money on castor oil. I don't think that's going to happen. So when the industry or if your primary care doctor uh, criticizes you, says, well, I just don't have enough research, this is a natural remedy. You will never have that much research worth millions of dollars in this case, right? It doesn't mean that this doesn't work. I think actually I would put this really in the uh, product, uh, in, in the category of a medicinal product. Of, of, you know, I would use it as a medicine, actually. And it is that good. Now, do we have on each of the claims huge studies to back it up? No, you won't. Because again, the money is just not there to fund these studies. But the good news we have here with something like castor oil, it's been around, again, for centuries. <laughs> so you have very long, uh, a very long track record of its safety of use and uh, also of its benefits. And even though many of these might be observational data, I think it's actually worth uh, checking this out. Um, so then next topic we want to talk about a bit is gastrointestinal health. And I've mentioned earlier these castor oil packs that can help with um, you know, relieving uh, symptoms of inflammatory bowel disease and so on, right? But uh, you can take castor oil orally as well. And here I would caution again, if you're pregnant, certainly don't do this because it will cause uterine contractions. However, starting with very small amounts, and we're talking about maybe a quarter teaspoon to half teaspoon for occasional constipation, maybe something, talk to your primary care doctor first, that might be helpful because it acts as a stimulant laxative and it works extremely well. But it does, besides working as a laxative, it does have some uh, positive properties for the gastrointestinal tract as we take it as well. So I think this is a laxative that I would put in the more healthy category because some are certainly a bit more harsh on your system, this might be something that might work, but again, the dose is the key and you can certainly overdose here. If you take too much of it, there might be nausea, vomiting and so on. So this is pretty potent. So always, always small amounts, talk to your doctor first, right? But it's very helpful for that. And again, it can be externally through a castor oil pack that also helps with constipation or ingesting. So taking small amounts in orally, and that's another option to take this. Now, a review in the European Journal of Pharmaceuticals and Medical Research suggested that castor oil can help relieve constipation by promoting bowel movements. So this has been documented and studied and works quite well. Again, always caution people to start really, really with low amounts here. So I think <clears throat> all in all, I think the benefits are uh, pretty amazing of castor oil. I'm certainly going to use it for certain applications. I want to try this out cosmetically as well, you know, maybe use it... Um, uh, on the scalp as well once in a while or when you have very dry skin or maybe after a sunburn. These are things, I think this has a very good application, but also thinking of a castor oil pack. Um, again, you want to talk to your own physician or to your pediatrician if you use it for your children. But this is milder than I would say many pharmaceutical products are for sure. And again, the benefits are amazing. The anti-inflammatory properties are very real. It's been studied and documented. It has some antimicrobial function as well. So, you know, if there's any skin conditions, uh, uh, fungal bacterial, this might help. Um, again, always use small amounts, but I think this is an oil that has such a great history uh, for medicinal use throughout uh, 
such a long period of time that I think this is very promising. And uh, I think using something like this, at least in addition to other uh, measures you might take, uh, especially used cosmetically or occasionally for pain and constipation is something worth considering.